Polaris and Zero Motorcycles are partnering to bring us some new off-road electric vehicles by the end of 2021, guys. Here are the things that you need to know. So, on September 29th of this year, Polaris announces a partnership with Zero to co-develop some electric motorcycles and off-road vehicles to debut at the end of 2021. So this partnership is extremely exciting because Zero has been a longtime player in the electric vehicle space with their state-of-the-art powertrains and very good battery packs. So according to Scott Wine, who is the CEO of Polaris, Thanks to advancements in power, pricing, and performance over the last several years, and with customer interest surging, now is the right time for Polaris and Zero Motorcycles to become key strategic partners to implement the revved up initiative and aggressively accelerate their position in the electrification industry. And I could not agree more guys, with the surge of Teslas and their prominence in the electric space, interest is absolutely soaring. And then the realization that electric powertrains are very powerful it is now for many consumers. So it is a perfect time for us to see a partnership like this flourish. So I'm very excited for one, because I do have experience in the space with zero motorcycles as I owned a zero DS rebuilt from Copart. You can check the video link here where I do have experience with their powertrains and some of the, the methods that they use to industry lead in the motorcycle market. So it, let's take a look at some of their motors and see what makes zero motorcycles so special and why they are a perfect choice for Polaris. Zero motorcycles powertrain comes in a couple of different variants. They're mainly their 75.5, 75.7, and 75.10 motor variants are their primary uh, motor powertrain tiers that they use in their current lineup of motorcycles. In the DS that I own, it uses a 75.7 motor, which is an internal permanent magnet motor, which offers excellent efficiency and power density for its given size, which makes me wonder, what does Polaris have in mind for a powertrain of this sort? Will they be utilizing four motors, one on each wheel? Or will they be utilizing two? Maybe one in the front, one in the back? Or will they be utilizing maybe pairs of two on the front axle, on the rear axle, which we've seen in previous powertrains? So guys, this offers a lot of opportunity for speculation as to what is their configuration and how they plan to attack the market because the Polaris Razor is an absolute monster and it features a 1000cc uh, engine which produces a lot of power but I'm quite sure depending on what battery choice they decide to go with they can absolutely meet or exceed that performance of that Razor in many cases while maintaining a very comparable range making that a useful vehicle and also if they extend this powertrain to some of the ATV lineups they can come out with a lot of new products there because as you can see in rich rebuilds the powertrain for the zero motor is more than powerful enough to make a very quick quad as you can see in this video clip here so guys i am very excited about this partnership uh we couldn't be looking at a more prominent time to be in the electrification space and as for myself i'm actually building an off-road vehicle also in my hypercart which i'm losing using an internal permanent magnet motor with a six-speed gearbox that's going to be a little bit more powerful than what polaris uh could use with zero at the time unless they unveil something absolutely crazy or if they run their zero srf powertrain in the polaris we, we just don't know let's check out the flagship models from each company so polaris they have their Razor Turbo S4, which features a 925cc four-cylinder turbocharged engine producing 168 horsepower, which is pretty respectable for a vehicle of that size. Now let's go over to Zero and see their flagship model, which is the SRF. The SRF, guys, is a beast producing a whopping 140 pound-feet of torque with a motor producing over 110 horsepower with uh, in a frame roughly half the size of the Razor. So if we just guesstimate on a far end, let's say they grab four SRF motors and put it in the post Razor. Guys, that could be over 400 horsepower with a ton of torque in a Razor. That is more power Razor frame. So I'm super excited and their batteries are very modular. They will be able to fit uh, probably about four of those SRF batteries on a Polaris Razor and the SRF range is over 160 miles in the city So if you multiply that by four, you can absolutely see how you can get a usable High-powered off-road solution by combining the power and expertise of the two companies if You love this kind of content. Please don't forget to like subscribe put your comments below and if you are interested in any of my other videos and links 
I'm going to put those below also so you can check out some of the products that I use also. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.